I'm going to show you how to replace your 16 gigs of RAM with 32 gigs of RAM in your desktop PC. So let's do it. So this is 32 gigs of DDR4 running at 3200 megahertz from Ripjaws. It's like the exact same stuff except the stuff in my PC right now is 16 gigs. Two DIMMs total, so uh, let's see where we need to put them in. First we need to take out the old stuff and tabs up on the top for me. Pull out and then there is one. It's kind of hard to work around the water cooler there, but it does work. Let's see if I can get the second one. And there's the second one. Next, you should take a look at your motherboard's manual to see which slots you should put them in here. I have 3200 megahertz RAM. I got dual slots, so I'm going to put it in A1 and B2. So that's number two and number four. Right now, I'm going to carefully put the RAM in here. So we're going for the second and fourth slot. I'm going to do the second slot here first. This is actually going to be kind of hard with the fans in the way, but I think I should be able to manage. There we go. Got it clicked in. Now for the second one, which would be in the fourth slot. And there we go. The second one is in, which is in the fourth slot. So just make sure they both clicked in. Give them a little press, a little wiggle to make sure they're fully in there. And I think they're good. So let's see if the computer turns on. Going to press the power button. There we go, it lights up. We got some lights on the motherboard. This is a good sign so far. Looking good, looking good. Now it's gotta go through all the cycles. And Oh, that was actually only one. Now let's see if it shows up on the monitor here. There we go, looks like the monitor's turning on. If we go into the UEFI here, so you can see right here we have 32 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs per module, equaling 32, and that is how you do it. That is how easy it is to do. Now if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, there is a YouTube comment section down below, as well as my Discord, which I will leave in the description. Anyway, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and maybe I'll see you in the next one.